Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome back. We are going to be doing some runs here on the test server. This is like the third time I've tried to do this because every time I play PUBG on the test server, um, the game gets more and more laggy the longer I play. So I don't know why it's doing that. I disabled anti-cheat to um, see if that's causing an issue. Um, it might be. I'm not positive. But um, we're going to go ahead and give it a shot, see what happens here. Um, I think that anti-cheat program is actually building up and building up and building up data, and it's actually causing the game to lag in the long run, and I'm not positive what's going on, but... Alright, yeah, the game's running smooth at the moment, so that's good. Alright, so let's go grab ourselves a buggy. And to quick do the main thing for this video... Um, I'm going to do two things. Actually, I'm just going to do one thing this video, because we're, we're not going to waste time. Um, we're just going to do the one thing. I wanted to show you folks how to put a scope on a crossbow and get accurate shots. So we're going to take the six times, and the four times, and the two times. Uh, we can take the three times as well, but I don't recommend it. Um... Grab the vest just for the capacity to carry things. And then grab the crossbow. And the quiver. So we'll start out with the two times and the quiver. Now this 400 meter range over here is all we're going to need. That's all we're going to need, period. There is really no reason to be at any other range. And we're going to go ahead and crawl up on the table. For those of you who didn't know, if you, you can actually go prone on a table and then turn sideways and plank on it, which is actually pretty good for when you want to do practice runs. But uh, for the two-time scope, we're just going to do this quick. Um, when you're shooting the two-time scope, you can actually do some pretty accurate things with it. 50 yards takes half a second for the arrow to impact, or the bolt, I should say. I'm used to archery, so. And you can see those, if you look, just the hint, hint flare of crossbow bolt, you can actually see those. Actually, let's grab uh, QBU and put a 15 times on it so we can switch over to that and show you where those bolts are landing. You can see there, they are actually landing right in that spot. If we ping it again and flip it, there we go. Just aim a little high, and you're actually going to land next shots. So quite technically speaking, just aim at the top of the head with the two times scope, and you'll hit the nice middle of the face zone. And so that's the two times scope. I don't really recommend it for ranges up to 100 meters and everything because once you do that, it gets kind of tricky. You can still hit, but the best mark I recommend is probably probably 100 meters with the two times scope because after that, it's get kind of ridiculous. See, we're hitting body shots right there. So, technically, if you want to get that super accurate headshot, if that's a body shot right there, you actually want to aim ever so slightly higher. See, those are the headshot zones. If you just aim just ever so slightly higher with a two times, you can pull it off. But that's not what we're here for. What we're here for is some long shots. We're going to start with a six times first. Six times is not hard to pull off. Six times you aim top of the head again. You land dead center of the head. That's what you're looking for. See? Dead center of the head. You can even see him at this range. So now, if you go out here, at this range, I believe... You're looking at aiming right about the second dot for the 100 yards. Uh, 
Oh yeah, it's it's put the see those little crosshairs. This the bottom of the the top. Yeah, it's hard to say. The thick stem of the scope, the crosshair, and the first little mark way down there at the bottom where it's got a hole in the middle. Right in between that is the headshot at 100 yards with the six times scope. You can see that. That's where we're landing out there. So I'll line it in. And it's actually the size of a head. So we got this guy behind us. This guy is only about 25 meters. I think we totally miss him because he's so close. See? That, that, that's it. Right there. Now, if we go over here, where did that guy go? That's the, t that's the size of a head. That's actually, he's closer than that. He's much closer than that. He's about 50 meters-ish away. Oh, someone hit me. And kicked me when he did that. And there we go. Right in the side of the head. You see that? So that's the 50 to 75 mark right in there. That's closer to 75, actually. Yeah, that's 75. So once we've done that, let's see. I think I saw a guy over here. Practicing at multiple distances here. Actually, not that bad an idea. But um, we're not going to worry about that. But now that we've got that taken care of, the big kicker is clicking in the 200 yard mark which is right there the 200 yard mark is actually if you aim right at their waist if i remember correctly look at that if you aim with the bottom of the scope cutting their body in half now if we switch over to the scope you'll notice that's my bolt right there. Coming from the other side. Right up there in the top. Right there is the bolt from my first shot in the head. So if you aim, cut the body in half at 100 yards, you will hit a headshot with a crossbow. So aim it, cut it in half, time it, and bingo. If you look there, there's another bolt right there in conjunction to where the last one is. It's actually dead center because I timed it right. That is a headshot. So that being said, the next one is the trickiest one of all of them because it's impossible to do with the six times scope. The two times, I'm not even going to give a shot. I just don't have the time for it. But the four times is actually easier to mark out the distances. 25 is actually the four times mark right there. Okay, you see that? If you're hitting the 50 meter mark, you're hit, actually hitting the four on a four times scope. See that? It's landing right in there, okay? It's a sweet spot. The four times is actually the best scope for the crossbow. Not that hard to do. Now, if you go out here, at the 100 yard mark, it's actually the base of the stem on the crosshairs. We'll do it again from this side. Switch over to the crosshairs, and you can see first shot landed right in their cheek on the side. Second one, same thing. That, that, that four times scope lines you up perfectly for the, the shots. Look at that. All right, switch over to the scope again. Look at that. Two crossbow bolts. Two crossbow bolts. Right there in conjunction. All right, so now the trickiest one. The trickiest one, I dare say, is the 200 and, or the 150 meter mark. It's actually right in here. It's the hardest one because you're actually shooting at that ghost zone right in between. Right in between the four and six. 
So you want to hit that ghost zone right about in there. See what I'm saying? Now if we go over to the QBU, you should be able to see where it came out. That was actually a body shot right there. You can see that body shot. So if we reload it, send her on target. Load out, get it right in between, just a little high. Time it. Bullseye. Scope says, first shot right there. Second shot, look at that. Right above the tip of their head on the other side. So that back shot was actually a little high. The last one, trickiest of them all. Four, no, 300 yard shot impossible with any other scope unless you're just super lucky if i remember correctly you literally aim with the bottom of the scope at the center of their body look at that bottom of the scope center of the body now at the 300 yard mark you actually have a fly time of three seconds but if you look at that, see, look at our shots. One there. Cut the body in half. Bullseye. Now, the one thing I'll say, these shots are absolutely tricky as all get out. But they can be done. If your opponent is staying still, metting up, and you have a chance to drop them with the crossbow, do it. Do it, because they will never know where it comes from. Our shot's right there. Look at that. Headshot. Nice stuff right there. 250? It's just a guesswork. Just guesswork, basically. But look at that. Two shots right there head height two more shots oh well he's two more shots head height two more shots one right in the middle of the neck look at that that's perfect you couldn't ask for better than that next shot like that it's gonna kill someone with a crossbow so that's it folks can you use the crossbow with a scope And the question is, yes. Yes, you can. Look at this guy. Clear out there. And game's lagging up and stopping us. Yep, yeah, it does that. It does it every time. Battle eye. Corrupted data. Every time. I don't know what it is. It's not cool. But it always kicks us out early for some reason. But anyway, you got it, guys. Four times scope. 3 times scope, 6 times scope. Which one is the best for the crossbow? It's the 4 times. It's not that hard to pull off. You get decent zoom out of it, and you can actually get reference points for 25, 50, 100, 200, and 300 yard shots. Okay? And 150, I think we did. Yeah. But you can get three different, 5 different reference points out of the five times, 4 times bleh, four time scope. It is a great way to go, and believe it or not, I went into a game earlier today, which I will do a casting of later on, um, probably tomorrow night, where I actually played through a match, and I ended up picking up a crossbow and a four-time scope. I did not actually... None of us got kills until the very end of the game, if I remember correctly. Uh, well, one of us... A couple of us did. Um, yeah, there was a couple of us. But there was a guy hiding behind a loot crate, literally, the, the airdrop. And he was about 25-ish yards away. I had a four-time scope and a drop on him. And my crossbow bolt was what finished the game off. He didn't know I was close enough. He thought he was fighting with one guy over there. I was able to nail him with a crossbow. But it's great to be able to take a weapon that is so do looked down upon and be able to put a scope on it like no one else knows how to do and actually be accurate with it it's not easy to do unless you know the distances between you and your target but it is possible so 
like if we go over here to uh, let's see here uh, create create a custom mode map Sandhawk perfect perspective uh, team battle players let's do 40 team battle team members four two ten teams crossbow mold and then let's create and see if we can actually uh, oh, input session name crossbow pack uh, let's see normal mode zombie road I want to be able to only include crossbows, melee weapons, and throwable weapons. Ghillie suits will spawn in the world. Four men squads will fight an Erangel. Initial safe zone will form around the center of the map. Sandhawk, third person, team battle, create. Let's see what happens. Match settings. Now, if you session title, public rules. Um, weather, overcast. I'll just go with the default. Bonds, that's what I want. Ammunition. Let's go bolts times three. Turn it off. All this other stuff. VMRs, mini, SKS, VSS, SLR, QBU, assault rifles. Hunting rifles, LMGs, SMGs, shotguns, handguns, crossbow times three, sight attainment, four times scope up, six times at two times, two times at 1.5. Three times down, holographics off, red dot off, side attachments up, eight times scope off, muzzles off, foregrips off, And the rest is good. All right. And we'll sit and see if anything happens. Chances are good. Nothing will. But, yeah, that's it, guys. Um, we're going to go ahead and stop this recording now. I'll probably only sit here for a few minutes and see what happens and then that'll be it so have a good one folks hope you enjoyed and i will see you all around next time